Hello and welcome to 34 Tauri. Today's video will be a brief introduction to the Challenger expedition that started the field of oceanography. Throughout much of history, the depths of the ocean were a mystery. Even Charles Darwin referred to the oceans as a tedious waste, a desert of water. However, during the late 1860s, a marine zoologist by the name of Charles Wyville Thompson had been dredging strange creatures from the depths in the North Atlantic and Mediterranean Sea. In the process, he demonstrated that all forms of marine invertebrates could be found down to a depth of 1,200 meters, and that deep sea temperatures were not as uniform as the scientific community believed at the time. Given the astonishing nature of his finds, the support of a Royal Society, and the need for ocean telegraphy, he was able to get a ship from the Royal Navy to launch an investigation. The ship he was given was the HMS Challenger. The expedition was organised to gather information on a range of ocean features, including the geology of the seafloor, ocean temperatures and features, seawater chemistry, currents and marine life. To do this, 15 of the ship's 17 guns were removed to make room for onboard laboratories, workrooms and storage areas for the specimens collected. Thompson was selected as the expedition's chief scientist and placed in command of five other academics and technicians. At every testing point on their journey, they would lower nets, trawls and other samplers to different depths and then hoist them back on board loaded with rocks, plants or animals for study. The Challenger departed England on the 23rd of December 1872 and sailed to the South Atlantic and around the Cape of Good Hope. It then crossed the long turbulent waters of the Southern Indian Ocean before moving on to Australia and New Zealand. It then sailed north to Hawaii before heading back south to Cape Horn, the southernmost point of the Americas. After further exploration of the Atlantic Ocean, it returned to England in May 1876, three and a half years after it left. The expedition revealed a broad outline of the topography of the ocean basins, including the discovery of a rise in the middle of the Atlantic, which later came to be known as the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. The research team was also able to develop the first plot of temperatures and currents in the oceans, and were able to identify 4,700 new species of plant and animal from the samples they caught. Their most notable discovery, however, was to be found off the coast of the Philippines. While sounding in the Mariana Trench, they recorded a depth of 8,200 metres, the deepest ever recorded at that time. To this day, the area is still the lowest known part of the oceans, and bears the name for Challenger Deep in the ship's honour. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you have found it informative. I have left citations and links to the sources used down in the description. As always, please feel free to leave a like, comment, share and subscribe. So until next time, have a good evening.